Talking about somebody who looks good, feels good and delivers, let's talk tennis. Dan Evans has reached the fourth round of the Australian Open for the first time in his career. Here's the moment that the British number three defeated Bernard Tomic in straight sets. It's the first time that he's reached the fourth round of any Grand Slam. Amazing achievement, isn't it? And watching that with us is Laura Kitching, who is Dan's sister. Laura, welcome to the programme. Uh, first question, how are you feeling and how is Dan feeling? Oh, well, I think me and the rest of the family are completely overwhelmed at the moment. Um, obviously, full of elation and excitement um, and ready and raring to go for Sunday. Um, and as for Dan, very cool, calm and collected as usual. So you've, you've spoken to him since that, have you? Yeah, I spoke to him this afternoon. What did he yeah. say? Um, very relaxed, um, excited again. As far as he's concerned, the job isn't done yet, so he's not kicking back until he's done everything that he needs to do. Well, he's certainly yeah. done a lot so far, hasn't he? I mean, the media yeah. attention's certainly been building. A um, lot of things have uh, focused around his outfit, in particular <laughs> shirt. Uh, tell us about this T-shirt that so, he's wearing, because people are saying, well, he's not been sponsored by anybody. So. No, his contract um, finished with Nike at the end of December, and obviously he's just took it upon himself going out to Australia to um, wear something plain unbranded, um, although obviously it is a brand, yes. um, but it's, it's very plain, so obviously it doesn't... But there's an issue that it doesn't quite fit in. Can we say that? Um, yeah, He's kind of I shrunk think, in the wash, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, he definitely, he said he definitely, there was definitely one that was shrunk in the wash, and I know he's bought plenty, so he's got plenty of backups, but yeah, he's, I think he's quite comfortable with what he's but wearing. that could be his lucky shirt now, maybe they'll always this have to it, wear the one that it. doesn't quite this is, fit. This is absolutely it, you never know, you never know. What is he like, Laura? Because he's your younger brother, isn't he? So what's yeah. he like as a younger brother? Um, sometimes annoying as younger brothers are <laughs> I've got one of them, but yeah. no he's he's very relaxed um it's nice to see him on court at the moment because he's really coming out of himself you know he's he wants the crowd behind him he's really enjoying it as as a normal person day to day he's very calm he's very relaxed in his everyday life so yeah. it's lovely and how are you as a family sort of watching all this are you all gathering around in the early hours of the morning is there a routine I'd, any superstition I'd love to say we are yeah but unfortunately at sort of five six o'clock in the morning now we're all in our own homes and i suppose watching our dressing gowns and getting children ready for school and everything yeah. else but no yeah unbelievable well we're going to let you watch it uh, now in the comfort of our studio so here we go talk us through what you're seeing then I mean, to, to me now, that, that is an emotional Dan. He's definitely um, overcome with emotion. Now you spoke to him after that. How does he pick himself up and get ready for the next match? Because he's, in a, he's on a run of form. He's in a rich vein of form. He's on a roll. Absolutely. How does he carry it on? Has he sort of talked about that to you? Um, again, I just think it's a case of keeping himself grounded, not sort of acting as though he's won a final, even though he's beaten an amazing player, and just picking himself up and carrying on. And he's not done yet. And as far as he's concerned, it's not over. So yeah. he'll keep going. And your dad's obviously out there. Yep. Mum's here. So yep. how are people in Solihull reacting? And indeed, <sighs> the Midlands, because he's, he's put them on the map again, he, hasn't he? He has support from all over the Midlands. We've got family all over the world, Dubai, Singapore, Thailand, Denmark. So literally we have family all over the place. So we're all coming together. WhatsApps, family WhatsApps are going crazy. But yeah, everybody, friends, Facebook, social media, just unbelievable. Just, yeah. Brilliant. Great just reaction. incredible. Brilliant. Brilliant. Let's bring Steve in now. I've talked to Steve Clamp, who's uh, here to take us through the rest of the sport. But it's just an incredible story. And great to have a British tennis player to talk about that isn't Let's not mention his name. It's somebody you else. You know what? I, I wonder if, very briefly, because I know we're out of time, but do you think the success of Andy Murray has, has eased it a little bit for people like Dan to, to believe that British people can win? Yeah, I think so. I think it's really encouraging, um, especially from a British point of view. And I mean, Dan's got a great relationship with Andy, and obviously mm. he encourages him a lot and really wills him to do well. So, yeah, I do think it's... It's inspirational, Brilliant. Definitely. I'll give him our best, won't you? Well I'm do. sure Thank we'll catch you. up with him when he's back in the Midlands. And we'll send him one of our T-shirts, an ITV one, so he can wear that next time. <laughs> mine, mine will be roomy on. You'll have plenty of room. One of mine. Fine. I think he might Thanks get slightly much. better off. Well, there's, there's, there's loads.